this. 20 years to build those stairs because we can't do our art center without exit. And we just built the stairs. We're getting them inspected today. <laughs> so beautiful. excited. But the whole thing is, you know, someday <laughs> this is going to be art center. <laughs> it's really, and the, the hotel is amazing. Um, if you had more time, I'd give you a tour. Plus, I have to get back and I have to go get my foot x rayed. <laughs> but you see, like, look at the great cows. What we did is we painted both sides and we did this art project called Art Builds Community. And then we painted both sides of the cows and then we put them up all over Malheur County. We're currently doing sheep to honor the bats. So this year we'll to do honor what? the Basques who shaped our community, and that's the sheep herders. So that's Sarah's ancestors, and that's why we did in Spanish and in English. Nobody, I moved here from Portland. Nobody knew what, I didn't know what a Basque was, and it's just the people from Spain. So um, this is our little spot that the kids back in 2018 said they wanted when we did what would, how should we shape our community? We did like public meetings. They, I, we asked them and they said they wanted, one of the Latino girls said, how come all the history is written by white men about white cowboys? So we did research and got the Basques to help us create that display about them and how they came to our community and they really did have impact. And we're doing the Celebrating Woman one that's in the process, we're celebrating Sarah Winnemucca, who's pretty dang impressive. She wrote a book in the 1800s and it was published. Can you believe that? It's one of the best books I've ever read. And it's called Life Among the Paiutes. We're celebrating Susie Jensen, who walked to Vail when she was nine years old and then lived here her whole life. And then we're selling the women that were interned at the Japanese internment camps not too far from here and they are going to be honored as well because they just, a lot of them decided to stay. And I just met a, a Latino family who wants to also be included. So this celebrating women who shaped our communities in process. And they were a family that came and did the, um, the what they called the labor camps. And her family just came and got a tour of the theater and they want to write something up about her family. So yeah, this is our space and it's open to the public. And so those kids said, we need to have information about people in our history that are not just the white men. We need our, there's no place to repair your bike. So we put this bike repair station in that's free, that's got all the tools so they can repair their bike. And they said, we want it to be more green. So we installed an EV station that can fit any kind of electric vehicle and it's free. And it's free, so people can come and stop. And this is what I want you to see. Um, our little map, you can take it along with you. So this is our little map. And what's cool about it is it has all of the murals on it, a little map to all the murals. And it also highlights three women entrepreneurs. And so in the maps of the old buildings, we've got these little guys here where you can scan them and it'll take you to what the Opera House looked like in 1900s or the Vail Hotel, which was built in 1908, what it looked like over the years. So take one of these. Yeah, and turn in a film. This tells you about our film festival too. Thank you. Yes, now you gave me a great idea. I need to put, leave a note here. I need to do something so that people can leave us information about them. For example, you know, here I've got my little flyer, but what would be great, so this tells you about us, but what would really be great is to have, we're like, you're an artist, well, you could leave something for us. So maybe you could start it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. You gave me a great idea. Okay, I'm gonna give you something. Oh, good, yay. 